Mm, pretty nice. Hey guys, it's Blade again from Corridor Security. Today we're looking at a brand new Sony unit, the XAV AX3250. Okay, so the XAV AX3250. This unit is an entry level unit from Sony, which allows you to have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAV Radio, and WebLink, which is a mirroring feature on these, um, for a very, very good price point. So this unit is a 6.95 inch screen. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up, show the contents of the box. We're gonna then power on the unit, show you the features of the unit and how it all works, the usability and the functions and everything like that. And then I'll give you my feedback and we'll finish the video there. So let's get it all open. Okay guys, so we have everything laid out here. The contents of the box are all in front of me, so there's not really too much to it. So you have a couple of instruction manuals in different languages and bits and bobs. Uh, you have the trim ring that goes around the outside of the, uh, the stereo if you're using the original cage. You have the main power harness. Obviously, there's a direct plug to the stereo to ISO. You mo most likely will need an adapter for your vehicle depending on what's going into. Uh, you have the Bluetooth mic, it's obviously for hands-free calls, so you put this up to your sun visor or headlining so that people on the other side of the phone call can hear you. And then you have a couple of screws and the removal keys, and then you have the actual stereo itself. Now, the stereo itself, like I said, it is a 6.95 inch across screen. It is an anti-glare screen as well. I'll show you that bit more in depth in a second, um, but just to go through the basic kind of visual features of the unit, you've got a row of buttons along the bottom. There's four buttons here. One's for uh, uh, tension or home, um, volume up and down, skip tracks and options. And on the back, you'll actually see that this is a singled in chassis unit. It's very popular on Sony units for them to do this. It makes ease of installation um, well, a lot easier when it terms, in terms of when you're fitting it. So you can tuck all the wires down rather than having to push them out and hide them away somewhere. So you've got actually room to fit wires in there. On the back of the unit, you've got a USB extension, uh, a few other connections, which I'll show you more in depth in a second. Okay guys, so we're ready to power the unit on to show you the features. Uh, I'm just going to plug the power pack in. You notice how quickly this unit turns on. Um, it can turn on even quicker, but this is, a, this is a hard turn on basically, so from when it's not even been started. So we're going to plug it in now. Three, two, one, plugged. And we're on. Okay, so this is the home screen that you'll come to when the unit turns on. Very, very similar to most of the Sony double dins that are out in the market at the moment. So it is a um, kind of nice bright background here. You can set the time and date on the uh, little clock there. And obviously you have your main functions along the bottom. So you have your radio and dabs, that's FM, AM and digital radio. That's Bluetooth for streaming music, uh, Bluetooth for phone calls, USB, swipe over, then you've got AV input, a rear view camera connections, and then your settings. That's it. So the unit's very, very simplistic, uh, very easy to use. So it's good for a person that doesn't want to go into too much detail with the unit. Now, down the bottom, you have a row of buttons. So like I mentioned before, you've got a home button, you've got volume up and down, skip tracks, and then options. So this options button is actually just a quick options button. So you can go into quick sound select or quick options. So you can do like a extra bass or quick EQ if you need to. Uh, but then if you need to go into more detailed settings, you go into the actual settings and sound and you've got crossovers and EQ, DSO, all that kind of stuff. And obviously you've got general um, uh, settings that you can change the background and all that kind of thing. Um, now in terms of the unit itself, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously radio, you can seek, you've got preset channels down the bottom here. Same with the DAB. Seek, preset channels down the bottom. And then obviously Bluetooth, you would just pair your phone. Uh, once your phone is paired, every time you get into the vehicle, as long as it's on auto pair, it will reconnect. Uh, same, same goes for the phone. A USB, obviously, if, it's a, if there's something plugged into the USB port other than your phone for CarPlay, that will play on there. And then AV input, if you have a source in, so uh, some sort of video input, um, then that would play off of this, like that. And obviously, if you've got a rear view camera, that'll play on there as well. Now, what I'm going to do quickly, just to show you how the Apple CarPlay Android Auto looks, uh, we'll plug that in for you and show you that working. But one other thing I thought I'd mention as well, this is an anti-glare screen. So if you can, let me just turn the screen off quickly. So if you can see, the screen is actually very, it's almost matted. 
So if you've got sun glare or anything like that, it's not gonna be as bright as if it was a glass screen. So that's one thing to consider. All right guys, so we have an Android phone here. Just gonna show you how the Android Auto works. So I have a cable here, also obviously USB-C this end to connect to my phone. Then we have USB connected this side in the back of the unit. So we're gonna plug the phone in. It will charge the phone at the same time. And then straight away, Android Auto comes up. So it's currently on Waze. You can go home, you can go onto Spotify, play your music whilst you're then going back on Waze. Uh, you can go into your phone book. Oh, you can, you can literally do whatever you need to. It's the same as every other unit, but it's nice and quick, touch responsive. It's not laggy at all. So yeah, quite good. Okay, so we have an iPhone here. We're just gonna show you the Apple CarPlay. Again, you have a lightning adapter connected to USB in the back of the unit. Gonna plug the phone in. Again, it will charge the phone. It's gonna then detect the iPhone, switch straight into CarPlay. So obviously you can have the split screen style with your maps and your music and everything on that side, or you can have your normal style and go into CarPlay, and uh, sorry, uh, maps, ways, listen to radio stations, WhatsApp, whatever you need to. Okay guys, so just to, gonna quickly show you the connections on the back of the stereo. Um, so starting off on the left hand side here, down the bottom here we have an FM and AM DIN connection, so that's for your radio stations off your original aerial. And then up the top here, we have a SMB connection for your uh, DAB radio. So you'd need a DAB um, aerial for that, or if your car has factory DAV, you'd need an adapter to go from there to the plug in the car. Now here you have your pre-outs uh, for uh, amplifiers of the vehicle. So you have uh, front, rear, and sub. So the sub output, so obviously your front's a pair, the rear's a pair, your sub is not actually a pair of RCA. So if you are running a subwoofer off this unit, just make sure you you need to buy a Y splitter, so a one male to two female Y splitter, so bear that in mind. And then you have uh, the reversing camera input, it's this yellow one here. And then you have your mic input is that little red connection, and the blue connection there is the steering wheel remote connection. So it says remote, a lot of people get this, this muddled up because they're the same size connection. It's a blue connection there for steering wheel control input, so that's for the patch lead off your, air, uh, off your harness, and then the red one is for your microphone. Don't get them mixed up because they're not gonna work. Um, here you just have a heat sink to keep the unit cool. This unit doesn't have a fan. They don't tend to get too hot, so you don't need to worry about that too much. And then over here we have your power connection, a little 10 amp fuse, and then you have the AV input, which is on a three and a half mil jack. Uh, but that's it, back of the unit. Other than the um, USB, which is on an extension, it's about two meter extension to run around to your glove box. And it's obviously a female USB connection. And then you can plug your, your phone cable into there, like I've shown you with the CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. Like I said, it is a single in body. Uh, it will come with a doubled in cage, and obviously you'll have a little gap underneath so you can tuck all your cables under there. And that's it. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Uh, that's the XAV AX3250 from Sony. Uh, this is their entry level CarPlay unit. Um, to be honest, it's very, very good for the money. Um, it is currently on our website at carreadysecurity.com and our sister company, The Tuning Store. So make sure you check it out. All the list of the specs and everything will be on there. Um, if you do have any questions, just pop them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to give us a call and book yourself in to have this fitted, just go ahead and call us 0208 561 9485. Um, we'll be happy to help, but yeah, that's it from me. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.